So it took me a while to figure out the topic today and uh, I'm starting to wonder if I should start interviewing more or just interviewing in general, but we'll see how long I can do this. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, what I heard of as monk mode. Um, I can't really say I'm fully in, I still work, I still participate in society. But I do spend a lot of time alone in the middle of nowhere, thinking. I do have my cats, though, uh, that come and say hi once in a while. But, uh, yeah, there's a guy I met. Uh, working at my bartender job, <clears throat> bartending job. And he works in car manufacturing as a quality inspector. Now, the certain uh, uh, company doesn't let him listen to music, podcast, audio, nothing. Uh, you're just standing there, headphones in, making sure stuff looks right. Actually, I don't even think he's standing. I think he can, like, sit. Pretty chill job, but I told him uh, a lot of time to think, huh? So, uh, I don't think you have to move into the middle of nowhere to go into monk mode. It could be just a lifestyle change, but, uh, I've been trying to, yeah, think of topics. But you might be going into monk mode, trying to gain deeper insight, which I have, but just these last few days, I've been trying to think about what I want to do on YouTube, and that includes my uh, own channel here and the podcast. that we do West Coast Paranormal. I like the idea of um, self-improvement videos for the most part. It's just a matter of, well, here's the thing, um, monk mode would be considered self-improvement to me. And I think, I think they kind of, I, I haven't looked into it at all. I think all I've heard about it so far is like, um, I saw YouTube in my uh, YouTube video in my recommendations, and I don't think I watched it. I think I just looked at the title.
and then I think I heard it mentioned in like a quick synopsis of it somewhere. I don't remember if it was conversation or reading. What I've been trying to figure out though is Insights, how to come up with original insights. But as I think about it, well, one, that's really hard to do, and two, gosh, look at that cloud, that is beautiful. Uh, let me try to focus that. Actually, I think it's blocked by the frame, unfortunately. But there's just uh, blue light shining through this break in the clouds. You can see it. I can't tell. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty. So the thing with YouTube is uh, you have to... You don't have to, but if you want to get views, which is part of why I want to do this, although a lot of it is insight for just my own self-reflection, but uh, I don't think I mentioned, but uh, onto insights, new original insights, it's like, how is the algorithm, how are, or how are people going to search it up if... They don't even know what it is, even if I could have an original insight on something. So that's kind of, uh, that's part of why I'm thinking about interviews. Uh, we use Riverside for that, which means uh, I can just interview people on my phone and I like sitting outside and smoking when I do this kind of stuff so it's important to be able to do it on my phone uh, I could drag my mic out here and record on my computer I suppose but I just don't want to overcomplicate things and if it's like really cold or I don't know really windy is the main thing I've just decided that if it's like really cold I'll just you know do what I'm doing get a blanket and uh it's pretty warm today 50f so I'm pretty comfortable in just my robe and my blanket in my sweater here but uh it's definitely gonna get colder main thing is the wind so might end up having to record in my car deeper in the winter just find a spot that has a nice view like this um i do like staring off into space when i do these but so that's when it comes to monk mode uh and you do something like that guy I met at the bar. Can't really stare off into space. And I'm sure it's like he has to pay attention to an extent. Like he can't just totally let his mind wander. So um, I think if you want to go deeper into it, yeah. I want to move out into the middle of nowhere and, and I don't know find some kind of peace some kind of solace so the thing with me is I still work a lot so I can't just like sit here all the time and think as cool as that would be um, I have been considering doing shadow work um, which I won't get into too much, but once I do, I could make videos on that. Uh, but 
yeah, I don't know. Uh, interviewing people would be pretty, pretty cool, because if you interview someone, they don't even have to be popular. Maybe they only have, like, ten people who would tune into the interview, but, uh, that's the neat thing about interviews, is you can just talk about anything, and you're really just marketing the name of the person, uh, that you're interviewing, so then you can just talk, have insights, learn, um, so I'm thinking about doing that more, but the thing with these is I didn't want to make it too uh, resource and time intensive. Like right now, I'd literally be doing this anyways, sitting on my deck smoking, so just like recording is really, I literally just record and upload, so it's like really not taking up more time. Uh, if I start reaching out to people, it's going to take up more time, time that I could spend even just reaching out to people for uh, West Coast Paranormal interviews, for example, or uh, working or marketing my business. But <clears throat> what I suppose I could do is maybe set up interviews for the podcast and this channel at the same time with the same people and then on the paranormal one of course we'd be talking about paranormal stuff and then on here we'd just be more general discussion type of the type of deal but uh That could actually work, um, but as we're sitting here, I'm literally just kind of uh, monk mode and just thinking. Although, here's the thing, Re like legit monks, like people that actually give up their worldly possessions, I'm not sure if, a I think for them, it's more about practicing mindfulness. It's not about gaining insights. And sure, I'm sure they have thoughts, but it's more like they're just examining them. Whereas with me, I, I'm having thoughts, but trying to utilize them and uh, make plans around them. So, I guess in conclusion, the way I'm doing monk mode is not, it's kind of, uh, uh, it's almost like a perversion of the word monk because that isn't really what this is what I'm doing what other people doing in like quote unquote monk mode I don't know again I haven't looked into it much but if they're doing the similar type of thing that I'm doing I wouldn't say it's monk although monk mode is a new word I've even, uh, I don't know, I don't want to make this video too long, I'm just, it's almost, it's just getting to the point where I'm just, like, ranting about my plans for the channel out loud. So I'll let you go, but I'll think on it more figure out what I'm going to do topic wise um, 
I suppose just talking about things that I find interesting is the best way to go about it. Um, but the thing is, like, trending topics, I've tried even looking into it, nothing of that what I could find, unless I find a different method of acquiring trending topics. It's all just, like, really annoying to me. Not annoying, but really boring, and so... I have to look into it more, but thanks for tuning in once again, and I'll see you in the next video.